everybody. This is a guide to putting a custom recovery image on your Motorola Droid Bionic. This will allow you to install custom ROMs and other fun things. First things first, you need to be rooted. If you're not, this is a video on how to do so. After you have rooted your phone, you're going to need to download CVPCS's Bootstrap Recovery Program, which I already have downloaded, and there it is right here. Now you're going to email that to yourself, uh, preferably email it to the Gmail account that is synced with your phone. So let's go ahead and send that. There it was sent. Uh, while you're waiting for the email to appear on your phone, go to Settings, Applications, and make sure Unknown Sources is checked. That needs to be checked. Alright, we just got the email. Let's open it up. There we go. Select the Install button. It says we don't have an SD card mounted. Well, that's just not right. Mountain Turtle Storage. Mount SD card. I'm sorry about that. Let's go back to the email and install it. Yes, install. I don't like that glare. There we go, that's better. Refocus. Okay, now let's go open up the new app. Bionic Boot. Go ahead and select Bootstrap Recovery. Give it super user permissions, of course. Success, excellent. Now, Reboot Recovery. Rebooting into recovery mode. There's that nice Motorola, the new red Motorola logo. And here we've got Clockwork Mod Recovery. And there's no more glare. Actually, hold on. That's probably the best I can do. Okay. Now you're going to use the volume keys on the right side of your phone to scroll up and down. And it looks like menu is down. Okay. Ah, the search key is up. Back is, of course, or the search key is select. Back is, of course, back. And then you've got your up and down, so let's go to, say, advanced. We can do things like wipe the dial with cash, wipe battery stats, fix permission, permissions. Um, one thing you're going to want to use if you're flashing ROMs is backup and restore. Search key to select that. Backup. And this will do a complete backup of your system, including... The system partition, data partition, cache partition, boot partition, uh, I believe it is recovery partition. And if you ever mess anything up, as long as you still have this recovery installed, you can simply go in to restore and select that and everything will work again. Uh, that's about all I have to show you. You should look into the best ROMs out there for the Bionic. I know CyanogenMod right now is in alpha. Uh, there are a few other good ones like Liberty ROM. That's probably what I'm going to install on this. And if you want to see how to do that, you can check out the video I will be making in about five minutes. All right. Thanks for watching.